Hey everybody, today I'm going to try to teach y'all how to play Risk, The Walking Dead Edition. Risk, The Walking Dead. First of in this edition, there's like two different ways to play. So I'm probably do two different videos. We, um... We have the survival edition way to play, which I think I'm going to hey, do that one first. And then we have the standard, you know, world conquest edition. So, uh, we'll check it out. One thing you do is you put the outbreak token on one. And I'll explain how that works in a little bit. Depending on how many players there are, this will determine how many um, tokens, uh, t armies you'll start with. I always play with maximum number of players. There's four players, so you'll get the walkers start in eight territories. And there's 24 walkers. Each player gets six territories, and there's 18 armies each player gets. So we'll set that up. Here are the territory cards. The best way to set it up is a randomly shuffle and deal out to the walkers and everybody else. So it's like walker... People, 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 people. And each p group will get six, and the walkers will get eight, basically. So the walkers get 24 armies and eight territories. We'll put them on the board. Now, if you get too many walkers, you'll have these three walkers to deal with. So far, that's the zombie setup. Now, each player gets to pick one, they either get to be the green family group, the prison group, the governor's group, or Rick's group. And depending on what group they are, they have a special ability. Let's set the uh, rest of the groups up. The regular people get this extra truck to represent three or five or whatever. After you're done with the territory cards, you, of course, I'm putting everything on the board, so you, of course, shove them back up. Here's what you do on each turn, and I'll explain how that works. First one you're going to do is the resolve the walker outbreaks. How that works is you have the outbreak area right there, and depending on what it... Well, first, you, of course, you'll draw... your territory cards there Hello. you'll you'll depending on which outbreak section it is which each round each round it moves up one that's a round of all four players but uh so so uh you'll do this territories you'll draw one of these territory cards and you'll put one walker on the board or so and so. Also, you'll draw one event card. Now, these events, one of them will overrun the game and it'll make the end of the game. But you got these different events, so you draw an event. And if you manage to complete that event, Various different things happen. So that's the outbreak. Let's do an example of it. Okay, this is the truck stop. So one walker gets to go to the truck stop. Now, if you notice, the truck stop is already occupied by people. So what happens? 
if one walker is on the truck stop along with people. You have to have an immediate battle. One defender, three attacker. And then you resolve it. So five beats four, so that kills the walker. You could, um, you could lose ter territories this way. And you see, as the game progresses, it gets harder and harder. And more walkers, zombies, pop up. Then you do an event. So here's an event. All players roll two dice. Highest roller chooses a territory controlled by the lowest roller to be attacked by three new walkers. So in this particular case, you'll have three new walkers appear on the board and you can put them on if you say you're the highest roller you wanted to put them anywhere on an enemy say you wanted to attack an enemy say blue law was the lowest roller and somebody was the anybody was the highest roller and they wanted to put them there they'd have to immediately do the battle again Walkers are, are defenders all, always, and so in this case, two walkers died. Well, it was, you could only use two dice. I have to try that again, and only two people can only use two dice. In this case, it's a trade-off, so it's one versus two. In this case, the people died, and it went down to just two walkers on that property. See how you could lose the whole entire territory? Now the last thing you would do on your turn would be, well, the third thing you would do is gain and deploy additional survivors to bolster your group. So that would be, um... Okay, food ready. Now if you had ammo, you would use the ammo crates and the ammos, which you can gain to gain additional people, which is on this little track here. If you control an entire zone, you'll get a zone bonus, like each of these zones. But you basically, you, you get it just like risk. It's count your territories, divide by three. So say it's green's turn, one, two, three, four, five, six. They got six divided by three, that's two, but you gotta get at least three every time, so three. Next up is combat. So, it's Green's turn, so they're gonna do combat. And, uh, they're gonna take this one and attack this one. Of course, I already showed you how combat works. But, uh, trade-off. the win so that's how combat works let's just say that happens over here too and say this happens over here too and uh green managed to take over a whole area but they uh now they'll have to um fortify basically which, in this game, there's like no play safe, so uh, you want to have at least two, two uh, walkers, two guys, not walkers, on every territory. For this, if you ask what these right here are, they're like uh, bases. And bases are like, give you a plus one in defense. But you can also later, I think you can build these bases. Or you get them somehow. And these also work as plus one. Their fortifications uh, as defense. If you conquered a territory, at least one territory, you get an ammo crate. On the back of the ammo crate, they show how many bullets you get. So, uh... 
at the beginning of your during your gain armies uh, time what you do is you turn this ammo crate in to get the bullets and then you might be able to use the bullets Blues turn he had this and uh, he did it so he gets two extra ammo crates oh yeah how about I explain these different things Rick's group allows you to do two different maneuvers so you can make one at the end of your turn and the beginning of your turn so you can fortify twice basically the governor's group that would be the red group if you roll three of a kind when attacking and defeat at least one defender you automatically conquer the territory so that's a cool special ability uh, the prisoners group is the defender subtracts one from his lowest defense die for the first attack you make each turn so you get like a special bonus whoever you attack on your first attack gets one minus one on their defense die and then you get the green family group for each survivor defeated by a walker roll a die a roll of three or more prevents the survivor from returning as a walker Oh yeah, I forgot about that rule. If you get killed from a walker, you, if you get killed in an attack because of a zombie attack, you get turned into a zombie. So, I'll, I'll show that. So I did something wrong. I'll have to show you that. Uh, let's just... The abandoned gas station gets one walker. Where is the van? Okay. So if you're attacking... So, so, if you're attacking, uh, walkers, say it's Yellow's turn. If you're attacking walkers, and you, you attack the walkers, like right there or three you lost one you killed one but the person that died became a walker say they were part of the green family group though if it was green doing this they would roll a die and if they got a three or higher they wouldn't become a walker they got a two, so they still became a walker. So didn't do no good. So that that that's why the zombies don't die so easy, or the walkers don't die so easy. Uh, in that case, two died. And they took over that. Oh yeah, I forgot to look at their event. Parameter Beach. All players roll two dice. Highest roller chooses the territory controlled by lowest roller. Hey, that's the same thing. Uh, so, say we want to pick on whoever wants to pick on the blue. And in this case, they get Invaded by adjacent walker territory. So say this territory attacks that one. In this case the walkers are invading. And they win. So they take over, but not only do they take over, but the person who died got turned into a walker. See, all these cards have cool rewards. This one's roll three dice trying to roll three odd numbers. You have three rolls. You may set aside dice after each roll and re-roll any number of dice. If you win, you get additional highest die roll when attacking this turn. Well, look at that. I got odd numbers on, all, on the first roll. And check that out. I completed his mission. Isn't that awesome? Against the zombie thing. If you roll three of a kind when attacking and, and defeat at least one, which I automatically defeated one because of the special right gear thing card that I did. So 
that makes it where he automatically takes over the whole area, kills all the walkers, instant kill. So the red territory is a good guy to have. So red over here has got a whole territory, the survivor zone camp, and green over here has a whole area, and it's been the first round of the game. So that's basically how you play it. But now, as you see the outbreak's gotten worse, now we draw two territories each turn and they each get two walkers. And here's what everybody's ammo crate stash looks like. So let's show you how that works. So now you get two territories, the parking lot. And the farmland. See in this game, no area is safe. Unless of course it's already been used. So no area is safe in this game. So the strategy of the game would be to try to take over a main base early and try to keep it so that you can stay in the game. Because this game isn't necessarily about... Uh, this game's not necessarily about... Um, trying to take over the whole board. This game's more about trying to hold out against the, the zombie hordes that won't that won't quit coming. They just keep coming and coming and coming. Check out this mission. Check out this number. First roll, 15. Reward, you may reroll all ones for duration of your turn. Nice. Very ambitious. Green just took over two whole territories in one move. Now, no games do this, but I like to give a person a bonus territory card, or in this case, ammo crate is a special house rule I like to do if you manage to take over a whole continent or something in your turn, because you need some kind of bonus reward is what I think. Now, in standard risk, when you have over five, you have to trade them in. So, one, two, three, four, f five, six, seven. So, that's seven ammos, which, according to the ammo crate chart over here, which I could turn in for 17 armies, which uh, I, I, think he, I think he needs his 17 armies to uh, defend his borders. So 17, so he puts them down. Blue was almost defeated, but they traded in their ammo crates and got seven armies, plus they got their three for regular, and they only got one territory. See, sometimes being almost eliminated is good for you. That's the Rick's group, Blue. Red is over there also by himself, so he's going to do the same thing Blue just did. Well, that is off and on showing you two rounds of play. I think you understand how to play the game. Uh, remember, God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Keep on gaming. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Jesus loves you. Jesus is God. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is King. Jesus is ruler of everything. And hope you have a great, wonderful day. That's been two rounds. But as you can see, it's going to get harder and harder to win and to conquer. Green looks like they're doing pretty good. Maybe they'll be able to stay in the game. Zombies almost have a whole territory themselves. Red and blue don't look like they'll be in the game too much longer. Hope you enjoyed this video.